Evicting a tenant can seem like a complicated process, but in this video, we'll quickly explain the eviction laws in Kentucky and outline some simple steps that landlords can take to initiate an eviction. In this video, we'll talk about what the eviction process looks like, Kentucky laws that determine how evictions are handled, and how to legally remove a non-compliant tenant from a property. Be sure to watch to the end of this video to find a link to a fillable eviction notice. First, what is an eviction? Eviction is the process of legally removing a tenant. It's illegal for a landlord to change locks on a property or physically remove a tenant from that property, even if the tenant has done something wrong. So if the tenant refuses to leave after violating the terms of a lease agreement, a landlord must seek an eviction from the court. This is different from the simple termination of a lease. A landlord can opt not to renew a lease after the specified term has ended. There is no need to include a court in this process. In Kentucky, if a tenant fails to pay rent or breaches the terms of a lease agreement in some other way, the landlord can issue an eviction notice. This must be either hand delivered by mail or via certified mail. There are three types of eviction notices that can be served on tenants in Kentucky. If a tenant misses a rent payment, a landlord can serve a seven day notice that orders the tenant to either pay within seven days or face eviction. If the tenant breaches the lease agreement in some other way, the landlord might issue a 15 day notice for non-compliance. This gives the tenant 15 days to fix an identified problem or face eviction at the end of that period. The 30 day notice is used to end a month to month lease arrangement. It simply tells the tenant that the landlord does not intend to renew the lease. If the tenant does not respond to a notice to quit within the allotted period, the landlord can begin eviction proceedings in the district court nearest to the rental property. The eviction proceeding begins with filling out two forms known as the complaint and the summons. The complaint outlines the nature of the landlord's grievance and the summons assigns a court date. Copies of the complaint and summons must be served on the tenant by a sheriff or constable no later than three days before the hearing date. Both the landlord and the tenant must appear in court on the hearing date. If the tenant does not appear, the judge will rule in favor of the landlord by default. If the tenant does appear, the tenant has a right to dispute the eviction. Grounds for challenging this suit include claiming that the landlord's behavior is discriminatory or that the landlord did not follow the proper process to bring the action. If the judge rules in favor of the landlord, the tenant has seven days to appeal the judgment. If the tenant is ordered to leave the property and refuses to leave, then after seven days, the landlord can obtain a form known as a writ of restitution. Once signed, the local sheriff is empowered to forcibly remove the tenant and the tenant's possessions from the property. Eviction can be a complicated and emotional process. We've got everything you need to get eviction proceedings going from eviction notices to court documents, and you can access it all at the link below. And don't forget to click subscribe to get more videos offering guidance for legal issues in everyday life.